Turn arms down. Change the interlock of the fingers. Inhaling arms up. And down. Inhale and exhale and turn to the right. Back to the front. Inhale and exhale and turn to the left. With them already. And back to the front. And then just move the gear out of the way. Bring your knees together, so knees and feet are together and go forward with the arms back in child's pose. Feel the breath in the back of your body. And then just tuck the toes under and come back like into a squat. Lengthen the back of the calf down towards the heels. Keep wrapping your trunk around the legs. And then take your knees to the floor, back towards the feet and extend forward again. Press the hands forward and the hips back. And then up to downward facing dog. And coming forward over the hands, knees down and back to Virasana. We'll do a few of these changing on the breath. Inhale forward, up to dog pose, hips up high. Good. Inhale forward, exhale Virasana. Inhale forward, exhale dog pose. Inhale forward, exhale Virasana. Inhale forward, exhale dog pose. And one more time, uh, we're just going to walk back to Uttanasana, but reach the heels back and down. So you're trying to take the heels down to the floor, fill up the backs of the legs, backs of the thighs, and keep walking the hands in. And then just rest in Uttanasana or with the hands on the legs, with the back straight. And then come up. And uh, standing at the front of the mats, we will do a few salutes just to get warmed up a little bit. Standing at the front, probably. Did you do 108 salutes, John? Um, actually, I did eight to get up. Eight? <laughs> Good. There's still another 100 to go. Okay. And um, you might have to take your socks off now, Sam. First of all, just swing the arms up. We'll just do Tadasana with the arms up. And down. And again, swing them up. And down. And now we're where we go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, step the right leg back. Exhale forward, inhale left leg back, exhale right leg back, inhaling forward, knees down and sit back and then scooping through, exhaling back, inhale right heel forward between the hands, exhale back, inhale left heel forward, Exhale, right foot to the left. Inhale, arms up. 
hands together, exhaling down. You can use bricks under the hands if you want to help you get a bit of more lift in the hips. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, right leg back. Inhaling forward, knees down and back and scoop through. Exhale back. Inhale, right heel forward. Exhale back. Inhale, left heel forward. Exhale, right foot to the left. Inhaling, arms up. Hands together. Exhaling down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, right leg back. Inhale, forward and back and through and back. Inhale, right heel forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, left heel forward. Exhale, right foot to the left. Inhale, arms up. Exhaling, arms down. Just keep, keep your hands on your shins if you need to, to keep the back straight. Otherwise, just go forward. And then up we come. Stand in the middle of the mats for a couple of standing poses. Facing this way. You can take your mat out from the wall a little bit. Hands to the chest. Inhale and down. Turn the left foot in and the right foot out. And spread inner legs out against the outer legs. Inhale, exhale, reach out. And then come up to warrior two. And down to Pashvakanasana. That's it, come deeper a little bit, dive deeper, deep. yes, good. Press the inner back leg out, outer edge of the back foot down. Inhale up, turn the right foot in and the left foot out. Inhale and exhale, reach out. Come up to warrior two. Good. Down to Pajvakanasana. And back up. Hands to the chest. And jump back to Tadasana. We do Trikonasana to Adha Chandrasana, hands to the chest. Inhale and jump. Turn the left foot in and the right foot out. Inhale and exhale, extend out. Keep the hip in underneath you. Bend the front leg and hop forward to Adha Chandrasana. Good. 
back to Trikonasana. And up and down. Inhale and exhale, Trikonasana. Bend the left knee and hop forward. Good. Open up the four corners of the foot. And back to Trikonasana. Good. Inhale, up you come. And jump back to Tadasana. Just take your feet hip width apart and fold your arms above your head. And go forward. And uh, just one more set. Hands to the chest. Inhale and jump wider distance. Hands on the waist, turn the left foot in and the right foot out. So you're facing, both hips facing to the right. Inhaling, take the arms up. Exhaling, Virabhadrasana one. Press the left leg back. Lift the sides of the waist up. Inhale and exhale, lie out over the leg and come up. To the warrior three. And back to warrior one. Inhaling out, good. And bring the arms down and turn the other way. Inhaling, arms up. Press the right thigh back, reach the right heel down to the ground. Inhale and exhale, bending. Inhale and exhale, lean out over the thigh and up you come. And step back. And up. Hands to the chest and jump back. Take your feet hip width apart again, fold, different fold to the arms. And forward. And then up. And I just want to try something. So bring a brick each. You might need uh, two. Yeah. 
Ashwakanasana with the front leg on the brick, front foot on the brick. So right foot on the brick. So then because you're higher, you might need a brick for the hand, but you don't know until you go. And then bend the front leg. That's it, and come down, down, down. Have your heel on the brick if you can as well. So it really helps to fill up the back of the thigh there. Outer edge of the back foot into the floor. That's it, die, come down deeper, good. Press the inner left leg out, tailbone in, and top arm up. Bring the right hip in. Press the outer edge of the right foot down and get the Tailbone in, extend, take the top arm over the head. And come up and change. Inhaling, arms up, exhaling, bending. Really sitting down. You know, sometimes we put our hand under the thigh there and sit down into the thigh. We can do that. Take the hand down. Put the left hip in. Outer edge of the left foot down, tailbone in. And top arm up. Outer edge of the right foot down. Good. Lift up through the inner right leg. Excellent. And up you come. Okay, just one more. Right leg forward, left leg back for Virabhadrasana 1. Inhale, arms up, exhale, bending the front leg. Still reach the outer edge of the back foot, back and down. And sit down into the back of the right thigh. And come up. Good. Yep, keep going. That's good. Go. And change. So you can get down deep into the back of the front thigh. Inhaling, arms up. Press the right thigh bone back. Lift the sides of the waist. And yeah, wait, stay there, Joe. Go deeper, deeper, deeper. Deeper, deeper, deeper. And up you come. Good. And just back to Tadasana. We'll work on that more next time. Take the legs apart. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhaling forward. Stay in concave back or take your head down as you can.
and then up to concave back again. Hands to your waist and all the way up. And jump your feet back together again. Okay, um, sitting down now, lying down. I'm gonna do some abdominals. Have a belt also. Well, first of all, um, you can keep the left leg straight if you need, uh, bent if you need, so it's foot's on the floor. Otherwise, straighten. And extend through the back of the leg to the heel, and then the legs will just pass each other going up and down. Don't rest the foot on the floor. You can hold the sides of the mat to help you Keep the lower back long. You press the shoulders away from the hands. And lowering down. Then take your belt and straighten up the right leg. Left thigh down, down, down to the ground. And right leg out to the side. And across the body, so change hands and take your leg across the body. Spread the right arm out. Widen the chest, keep the chest into the floor. Press the thigh bone away from your head. And then change the legs. Left leg straight up. Left leg out to the side. That's it, spread the ball of the foot. Wake up the whole of the foot. Lengthen through the back calf to the heel. Bring the leg up and take it across. Keep your shoulders on the ground and left arm out to the side. Press the thigh bone away from your head and lift the sternum towards your head. And up. And then one more time, right leg straight. We'll go out to the side and then we'll do the force variation. If you remember from when we did it before. So inhale and exhale, take the right leg out to the side. And then stay holding on to the belt with the right hand. Take the right arm behind the head, bend the knee. Bring your right shin across your chest. Shorten your belt as much as you can. And soften your throat. And change. Mm. 
left leg straight. Left leg out to the side. And then bend the left leg, take your left arm behind your head. Nice and long between the inner ankle and the inner heel. And sort of soften the knee away from you as you bring the, the shin more parallel to the chest. Keep the back of the knee open, the 90 degree angle between the thigh and the shin bone. Draw the outer thigh back into the hip. Smile. Happy, happy joy, joy, happy, happy joy. Take, see if you can take the knee away from your face a little bit more. That's it. Draw the outer thigh back into the hip. Yeah. And release. Good. Rolling, moving right along, rolling over onto your stomach now. Or Bekasana. So, the stomach. Bend up, um, bend up the left knee, take the hand inside the foot, and then rotate the elbow. That's it. So the fingers face forward and you, your weight is down on the top of the foot. Lengthen through the front of the thigh. Extend the front thigh to the knee. Keep your throat soft. And change legs. And change legs again. And change the legs again. And release. As extend the arms out in front. Extend from the bottom ribs to the fingertips. And bring the arms back alongside the body, chin forward and come up in Salabhasana. And down. And up. And down. And up. And down. And Ujjangasana, hands beside the chest. Lengthen the thighs back, chin forward, shoulder blades in. Down. Chin forward and up again. And 
down. One more time. Elbow in, spread the buttocks, spread the backs of the thighs from inside to out, tailbone in and down. And then bending the knees for Dhanurasana. Lengthen the thighs to the knees, inhale and exhale and coming up. And one more time, hold the ankles, inhale and exhale. And down. Okay. And are coming up now for Ustrasana. Just take your belt across the top of the buttocks. And, and a little bit higher, yeah. And use it to, to draw the top buttock down out of the back and forward. So you press forward. As you curl your shoulders, just keep your head up. Keep your head up. Roll your shoulders back. Soften the throat and then you can take the head back and keep the throat soft. And one more time with the belt, taking the flesh of the body down out of the lower back and helping to press the tailbone in. Keep the chin up, widen the back ribs. And soften the throat and you can take the head back. But you don't wanna feel that there's tension or holding in the throat. Throat soft because of all the glands that are there, the thyroid, you want to look after the glands, not put them under pressure. And come up, nearly done with the back bends. <laughs> and then put your belt to one side. You're just gonna rock backwards and forwards and then take the hands back. So if you wanna have a bolster across the heels or a blanket, if you don't quite reach the heels, you can come to that. This time, just take the hands on the buttock creases there and then slide the hands down the backs of the thighs. Forward and um, keep the chin up, soften the throat and then you can take the head back, holding the ankles. Keep spreading the two sides of the back away from the spine. And up. Then we're just going to rock backwards and forwards. So with the hands to the chest, like you're a bendy piece of metal. Last rock, take your whole palm to your foot. Press the hips forward. Remember the belt on the buttocks. Good. And up you come and sitting down. Okay. 
sitting down now. <clears throat> There's one more. <laughs> We're going to do Purvottanasana. So if you sit with your hands turned to face your feet, fingers facing the feet, knees bent. Bring the shoulder blades together as you lift yourself up to a like a tabletop. Up we go. And down. And up. And down. And up. And down, and one more time so I can watch. Inhale, up you go. Still have that belt action. Lift the hips up as high as you can. Shoulder blades in, throat soft. You can take the head back if, if the throat's soft. Good. And down you come. Well done. Let's take now a blanket. Underneath your heels, we're going to do Malasana. So, blanket on the under the heels and squatting. If you if your heels reach the ground, of course, you don't need to use the blanket. Take the knees apart and walk the hands forward. Keep the knees compact, so even though your arms are through the middle of the knees, you still kind of squeeze the knees into the arms. And stay on the ball of the foot, lengthen back into the heel. And then just sit down on your blanket with both legs. Straighten out the right leg and keep the left leg bent. Hug the shin and sit up tall. Reach the left arm inside the left leg. And if you can, wrap it around and join the hands together. Otherwise, use a belt between the hands. Lift the chest and then turn the head down towards the leg. Squeeze the shin and the thigh towards each other with your arms or with the belt. And release and change. Left leg straight, right leg bent. Sit up as tall as you can initially. That's it, good. Then reach the right arm inside the leg and wrap it around. Take your head down if you can. Both legs straight. Use your belt or hold on to your feet and lengthen the front of the waist. Press the backs of the knees down into the ground, inner knee, outer knee. Good. 
and then bend the legs up again. Pull my lasana again. And bring the arms as deep down into the shins as you can. And then take the hands behind and hold the heels from behind. And shoulders wide and let the head release towards the floor. So keep the knees compact, don't let them go too wide. Press the base of the big toe down. And lower, lengthen the back sacrum towards the heels. Spread, spread the rim of the pelvis. Back rim of the pelvis. And then from here, we'll go to Bakasana. So bring the hands out the front, keep them wide and take them as back to the legs as you can. And then come forward. And down. And Uttanasana. And one more time. Feet together, bend the knees. Arms as deep into the shins as you can get them. But keep the knees a bit compact. Bring the hands as far back as you can and then tip yourself forward. And down. Uh, and Uttanasana, good work. Standing up, just to lie down again. Lie down on your back for Chatush Parasana. Have a brick handy. We'll go up and down by ourselves and then put the brick under the sacrum. You can hold the mat and up and down with the hips. And when you feel ready, put the brick along the sacrum. So open up the fronts of the hips again after the bakasana. Open the tongue and the throat. Keep the outer knees in, in the heels down. Widen the shoulders and lift the sternum. You can stand on your palms or, or hold the ankles, whatever works for you. Lift the sternum, see if that helps to keep the throat soft.
and then just hold the mat and bend your right knee to your chest and straighten the right leg up. Keep the inner left thigh down. Bend the right leg, bend the left knee to the chest, straighten up the left leg. And down. And just lift the hips higher than the brick. Take the brick out and then come down. Knees together, feet apart, and let the sacrum be broad. Just extend the arms up over the head. <clears throat> And then um, rolling up, forward, big toes together and knees apart. Up to downward facing dog one more time. Come forward and Virasana. Press the hips back away from the hands. And then dog pose again, hips up high. Reach the inner heels back and down and reach the heels for the floor as you walk the hands back to Uttanasana. And then coming up for handstand, show. And stand forearm balance and headstand. Either walking up the wall if you need with your hands to the floor or kicking yourself up. Can you help Joey, Sammy? Uh, Sammy? Can you help Sammy, Joe? And then forearm balance. Very good.
and then your headstand or your uh, cross posters, the Viprita Dandasana. Make a little bit of softness under the mat, a blanket or something. And then you are coming down. And setting up for shoulder stand. So shoulder stand or otherwise the Sedabanda with the bolster coming out from the wall now.
and just be in Halasana for a bit, um, just to sort of ease your back into it. And then going up as you're ready. Mouth, lips and tongue, soft eyes, soft. Left foot to the ceiling, bring the right hand through. Don't change. And take the right leg to the side. And left leg. Soles of the feet together, Vada Kanasana. Straighten your neck. If you can bring the legs together, lift up through the inner legs. And then coming down under control. Rolling down.
and roll over to your right side and set up for Shavasana. And um, set up however you like, rolled up blanket under the spine or just flat on your back. My bag on if you have one. Lay yourself out well and just let go completely when you're there. And soften everything, starting with the throat and the face, and the mouth and the lips and the tongue. the eyes rest.
quietly bending your knees and rolling onto your right foot. And sitting up. Thank you.